In this video, the SIFT method to evaluating resources part two, we will continue to evaluate the claim that rising CO2 levels are beneficial to agricultural production. In part one, we began the process of evaluation. We completed the first two SIFT steps. Once we found an article, we stopped. We didn't read it. We looked at the author for credibility, took a quick scan of the article, and checked our emotions. We then investigated the source, a nonprofit called cfact.org. Our next step is to find better coverage. The CFACT article we found promoted CO2 as being a major element in increased agricultural production and greening of the planet. It was written by a PhD, but we have no idea what subject he got his degree in. The article was posted on cfact.org, which we found out is a nonprofit that is funded by fossil fuel companies and foundations that are skeptical of climate change. But we want to still follow this idea that CO2 is somehow beneficial by searching for better coverage to basically corroborate what CFACT is espousing, but from a reputable source, one that may have gathered research from a university study or government agency. We want to get away from the .org domains because anyone can hide behind a .org, as we have seen in the last video. Let's try searching just .gov sites and see what happens. Only government agencies can use .gov. Doing a search on CO2 agricultural benefits, site colon gov, retrieved this article, among others. This introduction talks about a study showing significant greening of the planet in a journal called Nature Climate Change. Let's jot that down to look at later. Here it states how CO2 from the air, when mixed with water and nutrients from the ground, produces fuel for life on Earth. Okay, that coincides with the claim in the CFACT article. But here, in the fourth paragraph, it describes how CO2 is a chief culprit of climate change. Finally, this paragraph discusses the limits CO2 has on plant growth. As plants acclimatize to rising CO2, the concentration and the fertilization effect diminishes over time. This is something that the CFACT article did not mention. Here we have a NASA.gov article where the benefits of CO2 are corroborated by a government agency, but there's also a warning about CO2's other side effects. The article is a review of a study completed by 32 authors in eight countries. We have found our better source. This article would take the place of the CFACT article for my research. Now on to the actual study from the journal Nature Climate Change. There's a link to it at the bottom of the page. Here's the citation and abstract of the article. But as I scroll down, I find that it is not free. You will find this often when coming across journal articles via Google Scholar. There may be a paywall. Please don't pay for the article. First, you can check if it's available from the library's databases for free. If it's not there, then search Google Scholar. Here I search the title in Google Scholar, and I do find it for free in full text by clicking on the link to the right. If you can't find it on Google Scholar, ask your librarian they may be able to help you track it down. One last thing about how to measure the authority and expertise of a journal in a scholarly article. You can see here that the article was cited by 384 other academics as of today. That's a lot. You can also check Nature Climate Change's impact factor, the measure of a journal's influence on the academic community. It measures the frequency with which the average article in a journal has been cited in a particular year. Typing Nature Climate Journal Impact Factor I see that it has an impact factor of 19, which is a very good score. Only 2% of academic journals rank this high. If you even find an impact factor of 1, that means that the average article in that journal has been cited at least once in a given year. One word of warning, don't use this tool to evaluate every web source out there. It's just good for measuring academic journals, not blogs, not newspapers, or other sources on the internet. Okay. We've been able to complete the F in SIFT, finding better coverage. In the next video, we'll review tracing the claim quoter media to the original context and complete our evaluation process.